Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Fulham against Chelsea Football Club. London Derby. That is going to be the last game for Premier League match week number seven. It's a derby. Form goes out of the window. And we remember that this team been giving us a lot of trouble. I know that we beat them in preseason, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't count, okay? This is a real game that we have to win. And we have to take advantage of other teams' results. Not like take advantage in terms of catching up with them, but a feel-good factor. You know, Manchester United lost. Manchester City lost. The two London clubs, they, they, they all won their games so we gotta do what we gotta do and the table let's worry about the table very very late in the season because now even if we win the game against fulham we're gonna be around 12 or 13 because we are like 15 we're gonna check on that very very uh very soon but Listen, man, all I want is a W. I don't care about how we play. I just care about three points. By the way, thank you so much for everybody that was there on Sunday for the ladies game. We had a very good show. So many people. I was so surprised how so many people were watching the ladies game with me. Chelsea Football Club beat Tottenham Hospers at Stamford Bridge 2-1. So next time, put your notification on and join us. So I'm going to remind you because I've already made my preview video. Just to remind you what I said in that video quickly. If you want to watch details, I'm going to leave the link at the end of this video. So you click and watch. It goal, my starting 11 here. I will go with Robert Sanchez. Back four, Jan Madsen, Levi Cowell. Thiago Silva, Marco Correa, uh, the midfield of Enzo Fernandez and Moises Caicedo. And in front, I will go play Cole Palmer, 8, number 10, whatever position you want to play him in the free roll here. And free uh, three in front, I will go with Mikalo Modric. Armando Broja and Raheem Sterling. I don't have to explain anything because I've already said everything in the video that I will leave the link at the end. Okay, my people. So this video is about head to head. Just to double check the form of both teams for the last few games that we played. So we can have an idea what kind of team we'll be facing on Monday. Uh, it's going to be 3 o'clock p.m. in the U.S. Unfortunately, it's not going to be on Peacock. It's going to be on USA Network or Universal. So you need a package. If you have a, the package that's content this channel, you can watch. But me, probably I'm going to have to pay pay another nine ninety nine or something like that. But it is what it is. When you love Chelsea, you have to do whatever you got to do to watch games. So let me just remind you the result on the weekend. Aston Villa 6, Brighton 1, Bournemouth 0, Arsenal 4. Everton won, Luton Town 2, Manchester United lost at home against Crystal Palace 1-0, Newcastle United beat Burnley 2-0, West Ham United beat Sheffield United 2-0, Wolves beat Manchester City 2-1, Tottenham Hotspurs beat Liverpool 2-1, and on Sunday it was only one game, Nottingham Forest against Brentford, and it was a draw. 1-1. One, one. If it's possible, let me just show you the table very quickly. Look at the table here. Manchester City still on top, but only one point away from Arsenal and Liverpool. 
and if we go back a little bit here you're gonna see like liverpool are fourth aston villa fifth uh just let's scroll <laughs> fulham at 12 and fulham are gonna play against the 15th chelsea football club so if we will beat them we have uh, five points only lord have mercy so if we got three points tomorrow i can't realize that we are so poor five point after six games lord have mercy i don't want to even think about it right now please let's move on okay so let's go very quickly head to head between fulham and chelsea football club in the last uh, few games bam head to head let me now start by by the bottom right the bottom and we go top so this was on uh march 20 uh, 2019 chelsea beat them away 2-1 and then chelsea went again in 2021 january to beat them at their own stadium 1-0 and then Chelsea beat them again at Stamford Bridge. That was May 2021, 2-0. And then Fulham beat Chelsea Football Club 2-1. That was January of this year, 2023. Remember, Joao Felix got the red card. It was 1-1 and they went to win the game at the end. 10 against 11. And then the last game that we, that we played against them was, I think in the, yeah, at Stamford Bridge. Yeah, this one was at Stamford Bridge, right? They didn't put the, yeah, the one that we played against them in the U.S. during preseason. That doesn't really count, of course. So we played against them February 2023 this year at Stamford Bridge and uh, we drew the game 0-0 zero, zero. so in the last few games it's been very tight but before that it used to be three point guaranteed you know when you play against them you know that you're gonna get three point but now things are changing all right so you can tell let's go to form guide form guide individually how we be we 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 are doing so let's start by chelsea here three losses one draw and one ne one one win only in the last five games look at that so we lost at home against Crystal uh, against aston villa we drew away against bournemouth nottingham forest beat us at stamford bridge i can't believe what i'm saying why 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 always us <laughs> we lost against nottingham forest at home one zero uh we won at home against luton town three zero and then we lost away against west ham united and if you look at uh fulham uh they drew against the crystal palace they they beat luton town 1-0 they lost against manchester city 5-1 they drew against arsenal 2-2 two -two, and they lost against brentford 3-0 but listen even if they are not in a very very good form themselves they lost a few players last uh, last transfer window but you know what that means if a team is struggling they play against chelsea football club charity fc they're gonna win and beat us so as you can tell this one is very very tight we have chelsea are missing 11 players a lot of injuries but there is no excuse no excuses we have to go there and give it all okay give it all and get three points that's all i want to see oh, i'm sick and tired of losing man 
let me go a little bit deeper to the last game that we played uh them was 0-0 zero zero at Stamford Bridge nothing really to to report Kepa Arisa Balaga was the man of the match that day that tells you everything you want to know he made four key saves hmm wow Kepa Arisa Balaga and then Enzo Fernandez came second I can't believe that back then we we used to have Kepa Arisa Balaga Kukurea was there, Badiashile, Emiliano da Silva, Thiago Silva, of course, James Enzo Fernandez, Manson Mount was still there, Gallagher, Mudrik even played that game, Hakim Ziyech, Harvard, wow, looks like he'd been there like a thousand years ago because many of them already left. Hmm. Even Datro Fofana was on the bench. That tells you everything you want to know, my friend. Uh, let me check some statistics here in the last game. We played at Stamford Bridge. Domination FC. Surprise. Chelsea always dominate, create, don't score. Six, almost 67% possession. Shot on target, only three. And Fulham had four. Shot all together i think it was 12 for chelsea 10 for them that tells you that chelsea situation didn't start today we dominate we do everything correctly but when it comes to the final third nobody is thinking like we turn blank it's like no iq zero iq in the final third it's a chelsea thing so let me know what you think about the game my friend do you think that we can uh, we can beat them or you think it's going to be difficult? What is your score prediction? Who's going to score? All the good stuff. We just need to win this game. Please. No more excuses. <laughs>